video is meant to understand lymph node histology we will also discuss in brief some very important points about the lymph node so let's begin so lymphatic system is what constitutes the lymph node and the lymphatics so lymph node are what we are going to discuss and lymphatics is what are the channels which connect these lymph nodes throughout our body so throughout our body we have around 450 lymph nodes which are connected by these lymphatic channels okay and this is very important for our immune system functioning that is lymphatic system lymph nodes are actually bean shaped tiny organs which are present throughout our body and these have multiple afferent channels and lymph node is surrounded by a capsule beneath which we have a sinus all of the afferents which bring lymph is going to be drained into sinus via sinus it goes into the cortex and beneath cortex we have medulla after which it goes into the efferent channel which can go either to the next lymph node or to the lymphatic channel itself now lymph node is a secondary lymphoid organ meaning it needs antigenic stimulation to produce lymphocytes so these are secondary lymphoid organ needing an antigenic stimulation we have primary lymphoid organ and primary lymphoid organ includes bone marrow and thymus which don't need an antigenic stimulation now by an antigenic stimulation they are going to produce b and t cell and these are going to protect our body in case a toxin virus or bacteria reaches it filters the limb and fights the infection that is the function of lymph node fighting the infection and in this process is it may get swollen up that is lymphadenopathy and there can be a reason of lymphadenopathy that is infection a mild infection but it can go up to malignancy so there are multiple n number of causes of lymphadenopathy and that is a different topic of discussion so these were basics about lymph node now let's go into the histology of the lymph node itself so here we see a bean shaped organ and that has a capsule and beneath capsule we can see the subcapsular sinus here so we already discussed it has multiple afferent channel which are going to bring the lymph and these lymph is going to collect in the subcapsular sinus of the lymph node beneath the subcapsule subcapsular sinus we have the cortex of the lymph node and the cortex is filled with one thing and that is lymphatic follicles lymphatic follicles is what constitute the cortex of the lymph node so we see this is one lymphatic follicle another one multiple lymphatic follicle which are also known as lymphatic nodules and these lymphatic follicles are what are made up of b cell so b cell storehouse is lymphatic follicle now b cell if start dividing in multiple number we form a germinal center germinal center is an active lymphoid follicle actually so we will have actively dividing lymphoid follicle at the periphery and it will stain darker and the center will be lightly stained okay because these are non proliferating b cells so the cortex is separated from the medulla so this is medulla region in the center cortex is separated from medulla by a paracortex that is that is rich in t cells that is the point you must remember next thing is medulla and medulla consists of two things so we have a medullary cord that is a, a sheet of say lymphatic lymphatic tissue is what is formed by medullary cord so here we will zoom it so actually this is a medullary sinus that is space that can be filled with blood or can be empty that is the medullary sinus you see in the center and in the periphery we have the cells which are surrounding it like a sheet okay that is known as lymphatic medullary cord the surrounding sheet of cells is medullary cord and medullary cord is formed by a plasma cell b cell or macrophages okay so if you summarize the histology of the lymph node in five points we must remember these five things that is we have a capsule second thing we have a subcapsular sinus third thing in the cortex we have the storehouse of b cell that is lymphoid follicle or lymphatic follicle fourth thing we have paracortex which is rich in t cell and fifth point we have the medullary cords and the medullary sinus in the center so must remember these five points about the histology of the lymph node let's label another lymph node here so here we have another lymph node a bean shaped structure you see like this so here we have a capsule here we see a space that is subcapsular sinus 
and here we are not making a uh, we are not able to make a great distinction between the cortex and the medulla but this actually is a part of the medulla okay and here we have lot of lymph nodes we see these are lot of lymph nodes we are seeing lymphoid follicles these are lymphoid follicles sorry and we can see actually these are actively dividing with the central area that is pale and the uh, the peripheral area which is more of basophilic because of actively dividing cells so and this center has medullary sinus and the surrounding medullary cord so this is a basic of lymph node hope you like that thanks for watching